Welcome back in another episode of Sailing Learning by Doing. This week, we are in the Togian, in central Sulawesi, one of the archipelago that we were waiting to visit since the start of our trip this year. We entered in the Togian by the small town of Waikai, by a small arm of sea in between Batudeka Island and Togian Island. We stopped at the public mooring in front of the town to stock up with fresh food, as we were expecting to be far from any markets for a while. Despite the small size of the town, Waikai is the central point for travelers who are coming in and out to Togian. You can find fresh fruits and veggies every day coming from the mainland by boat. As usual, Eli is the superstar, and everyone wants to cuddle. The stalls were not really big, but we found everything we needed. Oh. Okay, so Vernon just left Red Runner and went to the beach where the source of water is. Apparently, it's uh, water that we can drink, so I'm quite happy if we can fill up with that. That's the first time this year that we have really to think about uh, water. We had so much rain that it was always full, but it's so cool to have these kind of places that you have just, yeah, fresh water, drinkable, in the middle of nowhere, and I always like to know then, yeah, if you can find this kind of uh, resources for free just in the middle of nowhere. So cool. As you can see, London is somewhere here, and me, I'm just cycling in this blue and white water, I think the time is filling up. All the locals from the closest village come here and a few other people as well come here and fill up every day. This is their water supply. And I asked her, they kindly said, it's no problem for me to take as much as I want because when there's no one here, it's just going in the water, it's going in the ocean. So this is our jungle water filling station. Uh, it's drinkable, comes out of the mountain up there. There's no village close by. Completely safe, the locals will drink it. I had a um, big drink of it a couple of days ago and didn't feel any other effects, so I'm going with this. Yeah, best mountain water, bloody awesome. Like we collect rainwater, but this is even better because it's got the minerals and everything in it from the ground, so it's more healthy than rainwater.
Here our first potential anchorage. As often, it is not easy to find a spot to drop the anchor in Sulawesi. But we found few places on the map who could be good stop for us. On the island of Kadidri. We had to go over this natural wall of reef and we were happy to be in a cat with not much draft. This anchorage had been a little peaceful paradise for us. The color of the water was this milky turquoise, flat as a lake. Did I add a swim several times a day? When we were tired to live like wild bears secluded, we just had to jump in the dinghy and a few minutes later we were in a nice resort. Okay, so we've motored around the dinghy to a place called Harmony Bay. It's only a 0.7 of a mile around from our boat, from our anchorage. And we can um, send a message and, and ask the day before that we can have lunch here. It's, a, it's not a restaurant as in for outsiders, it's just for resort guests, but they do accept us to come and eat here, which is pretty awesome. And as you can see, it's a really beautiful location with a beautiful beach, a super good reef to go snorkel when we find a babysitter for baby. Oh, and we don't, they don't have babysitters here. It was no. just that we were here the other day and there was a French family and one of the daughters works in childcare, so she looked after Eli for yeah. a while. So that was really nice. Uh, let's sit down on the swing. Let's yeah. sit down on the swing. Ah, people. Ah. Yeah, so we've turned up here an hour before lunchtime because we just love this place. It's such a cool place. Where we're anchored, there's no beach. Uh, the water's clear and we can swim there, but having a beautiful sand beach here is great for Eli. We can sort of just walk out. Mm -hmm. And one of the really nice thing it's we are eating all together, so also yeah. the other guests are at the same table. So it's a good way to have a little bit of social life yeah. sometimes, because on the boat we are just alone. us. <laughs> yeah, and Eli has his own language, so we can't even discuss with him the ins and outs of nickel mining, for example. <laughs> but yeah, no, we do. Um, enjoy coming around to places like this every now and again just just as Mary said get off the boat and talk to some other people and the staff is so lovely here. yeah yeah the staff are super cool they took us walking in the jungle they offered to charge a battery I had a problem with they they bring us like if we're here in the afternoon they bring us um, snacks snacks fried bananas and things like that where they and treat us as guests basically yeah. which is pretty freaking cool so yeah if you're in the Togian Islands and want some somewhere to stay I can yeah. recommend Harmony. Um, Harmony Bay is the was place. Was it Harmony to be. Bay Cottages? I think it's called. Then you know, like this isn't a, really a plug for them, apart from we really like this place and it is is beautiful. The little cabins you can see are super nicely made, and it's I think there's only a six or seven cabins, so there's not many people here, and they do they have a dive operation. It's a pretty cool place. because it's also a good place to play but especially train because we don't really have a lot of space on the boat to to show to Eli how to go on his all four and he's definitely asking for that and trying in the bed to put his butt up and things and it's good to have good areas that you can train to crawl there you go 
There you go. Wanna do some crawling? Yeah, well, Daddy, do some crawling. You're trying. Oh, you gave up pretty fast. Huh? You like to do your army crawling? You like to do your army crawling? You're crawling on your belly. You hit your chin on the floor a little bit. <laughs> now the jungle in this region, in these islands, is pretty next level. <clears throat> and I mean, we love a good jungle hike and it's cool to show Eli some of this stuff. What I always thought were these fancy, like crossbred, trees that you see in people's gardens all these colorful things and sh shiny leaves and all this i thought these were all made for market gardens but we found them just growing here in the wild so pretty crazy to see that uh, it really blew me away i thought well no one's dug a garden in here but yeah they were just growing their wild pretty amazing So after an awesome time, epic, epic time in Harmony Lagoon, we set off west. Now this place is sort of a bit like Raja Ampat. There's sort of lots of, well, there's just heaps and heaps of islands and you sort of can weave in amongst them. And a lot of the channels are navigable because everything's really deep here. But obviously very, very important to have satellite charts or satellite pictures because uh, so many reefs everywhere. And like at this shot here, you can't see the reefs obviously, but from top down with the drone, you can see them all. So you need that perspective. Um, to be able to navigate safely here. There's no markers on the reefs and things like that So it's um, very very dangerous if you don't know where you're going But amazing to, to cruise through no wind in this region basically so you're sort of motoring everywhere But there is lots to look out for and lots to do along the way and Eli is always keeping us on our toes He wants to be playing and discovering new things in the cockpit So yeah pretty pretty mellow day and the, the distances between locations here are quite short as well you sort of seven to seven to fifteen miles is about all we sort of do now we've got a tip from Lanny a local in Wakai that there's a really nice government built uh, mooring buoy on the eastern tip of Malengi Island at a place called Pulau Papan. Uh, he said it's a pretty cool place, lots to do there, amazing clear water and the people in the village were also super friendly. So yeah that was our destination and man we weren't disappointed. We stayed oh, a good 10 days there. Wow amazing, you'll see the images but incredible place and we, we did really get into the vibe there. Now Pulau Papan is a Bajo village and Bajo people, they don't live on the land mostly, but they build their houses on stilts out over the water and have wooden walkways between their houses. And they don't really eat much vegetables, they don't do gardening as such, they basically live on fish and rice. Um, they, you know, they have a few banana trees here and there, but they're not land dwelling people. So their style of boats were pretty cool here, like adapted to what they need obviously, and cut from single trees and a little Briggs and Stratton or a Chinese version of that single cylinder five horsepower motor, direct drive with a shaft and a little propeller out the back, only drawing about 10 centimeters or five, not even five to 10 centimeters of water and they can just zip over all the reefs here and it's pretty cool, they just go flat out, probably 15 knots these things, pretty fast, five or six people in them and flat out and just over the reefs and it's pretty cool to watch. Now this school of fish was there every single night just on sunset and four or five boats came and pulled out a heap of fish every day and then they left. Pretty amazing. So in the Togian Islands there's not a lot of phone connection or internet services. A couple of towers here and there and if you're a bit crafty and watch what the locals do you can get a bit of, a bit of action. So in Pulau Papan it happened to be that if you climbed up on this rocky little hill you could get a couple of bars. 
So we'd go up there sometimes and check our check our business, and um, it also, also happened to be that the kids of the village would go up there at sunset and fly their kites and uh, and just hang out. Yeah, there was one kid that always had a pet chicken, and uh, one day we went up there and he was howling, crying his eyes out. I don't know what was going on, but maybe they were going to eat his chicken the next day or something. And um, he come down after a while and he, he showed Eli his pet chicken and let him let him pat it a little bit, and that was pretty cool. Really, really nice to interact with these villagers. They're all so nice, and well, having Eli, it's sort of like our golden ticket because they all just love. He's such a exotic for them, you know. He's blonde and got green eyes, and it just looks so different. Golden skin and all this, and it's, uh, everyone wants to talk to us about him and ask how old he is and all these sorts of things. They actually all think he's a girl. He's a bit, I guess. Um, yeah. I guess girls are blonde. Anyway, it's pretty cool to hang out in these villages with them. Now all together we spent about five to six weeks in the Togian Islands and as you see here we've only showed you a couple of spots that we went to. We did visit a lot of other places and they were great. We just don't film everything. We do just enjoy and experience things ourselves. We, we're not just recording everything for you guys but we hope you enjoyed this uh, view of the Togians. Beautiful place. I would absolutely recommend anybody with boat or just dive tourism to go there. Amazing, amazing place. And there's so much more to discover. As I said, we've only showed you a really, really just a bit of a preview, to be honest. Um, massive shout out to our patrons. We wouldn't be doing these videos without you. It's too much work involved to, to not get something in return. And you guys are um, yeah, very generous and, and it's awesome. You guys really uh, help us out completely and also a, a few of you uh, preferring to pay some contribution on PayPal also very very huge thank you and thank you for, for, for the support uh, goes a long way and we appreciate it very very much for anyone interested in becoming a patron there's a link below obviously we would welcome you on board uh, full access to our whatsapp you can ask as many questions as you want um, all that sort of thing. Anyway, we'll see you next week uh, further up the track somewhere. We're loving life here in Sulawesi. And uh, yeah, take it easy. See ya.